Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Bubba Triclops Ballistics. I'm Bubba the Third Eye Blind Triclops. Yeah, I think I like that intro better. Yeah. Yeah. I can still keep the same logo, too. But, uh, guys, today I'm here to bring you a video. I said, uh, said in the later, uh, earlier video uh, yesterday uh, that I had something planned to put those Fiatsi sights on. And uh, might as well go ahead and show you the video today, right? Just got off work, so I'm a little tired. But uh, I figure I'll show it to you guys anyway. Now, before I get started, uh, this particular gun came with a M4, M16 carry handle style with adjustable rear sights on the post and front sight. But, uh, It's kind of a disclaimer, disclaimer. It's kind of a, a cheap, a cheap plastic for the front sight and kind of a cheap plastic for the carry handle. So I wasn't too thrilled about it, although it is pretty cool because, you know, the rear sights do adjust for windage and elevation. So that was kind of cool. But uh, I, plastic, no. Uh, Polymer is fine, but this is, this is a cheap plastic. So I will disclaimer that cheap plastic not worth it so go ahead and get yourself some iron sights uh you know ones you like if you don't like fiachi you know go for whatever you know what i mean if you want magpul get magpul i ain't i ain't one to judge but i particularly wanted to try out the uh fiachi sights on this particular firearm anyway so this really didn't bother me none but what we got and and i'm i'm gonna say this now uh the price point for this gun uh, was actually surprising. Uh, I haven't put any rounds through it yet, so we'll do a video on that whenever I get the time to do that. But you guys know my schedule is kind of kind of weird, and I always end up having to do something on the weekend. So, uh, but uh, I'm going to say this now: uh, the price point of this gun is about the same as a High Point GXP, the new 10 millimeters that came out. So that's as close as I can get to telling you guys the price point. Uh, so it's, it's rather inexpensive for this gun, especially for what it is. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the gun is. This is a Emperor Firearms Cobra 12. As you can see, I got the Fiatis already on there. This came with one magazine. It's a five round magazine. This is a semi-automatic shotgun. This is not a pump. So the price point being what it is, is pretty amazing. It's a nice little AR-12 style rifle, or style shotgun. Got an adjustable cheek rest on it, which I thought was pretty gnarly. Got some uh, Picatinny rail on the back end and at the bottom of the back end so that you can put a monopod on it if you wish. Got some uh, QD points here and got an extra sling point here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the uh, upper for this gun is a steel, uh, well, I guess uh, aircraft aluminum or whatever whatever steel this is for the gun. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but the pick rail on this side is steel. The pick rail on this is a heavy polymer. Um, it's not bad. Uh, not too concerned about holding zero on a shotgun. So uh, the brake's kind of gnarly. Uh, I would flip it around, but right now I'm having a little bit of trouble. So another disclaimer, a little bit of trouble threading the uh, 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 muzzle brake on this. So take that as you will, brother and sisters. Uh, there's pick rail on the bottom of the front, bottom of the back, pick rails on either side. Uh, it has a very nice aesthetic in the front. It uh, reminds me of the old uh, plane decals for the Air Force. You know, had the little bee shark on the front. So I might... Might, might paint a shark teeth logo on the front of it. Don't know yet. Might do it. Might not. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I, I guess my only gripe is that the uh, pick rail here is a uh, polymer type, uh, polymer uh, mater material. But, I mean, like I said, you're not really too concerned about holding zero on this unless you're using slugs. In which case, I do have this backup CV Live. Now, ironically, 
the CV life on it is actually high enough to where it doesn't affect the backup iron sights. So if this goes out, iron sights are still see-throughable and still usable. So that's pretty cool, uh, in all honesty. Uh, but it's just like an AR. You know, you got your mag release right here. Bolt drop on that side. Uh, again, it's AR-12, so it's got an AR-style kind of safety here. Fire safe. So pretty much the same. Trigger pull on this is, let's see, uh, let's give this a quick pull of the mag out real quick. Although, you know, the bigger channels are saying it's okay to show magazines being in and out. I'm not taking a chance. But the trigger pull on this, oh yeah. Uh, you can't you can't uh, rack this uh, rack it back without uh, safety being on. So another nice little safety feature. But trigger pull on this is there. there there's no take up at all. That trigger is nice, especially for what it is. Uh, very very nice reset. Uh, let's see here. Reset is. Right there, back down. So reset's very nice on this. Uh, I have to give them kudos for the price point of this, for this trigger being as good as it is. About a four pound trigger. For a shotgun, that's kind of insane. T to me, to me, that's kind of insane. Uh, so it's pretty nice. I actually really like it. It goes up to three inch shells. So this is 12 gauge, it goes up to three inch shells. And it's it's very nice. Uh, I absolutely like the features of it. I like the fact that it has a uh, cheek riser in case you want a better cheek weld, or if your cheek weld's not high enough for this, you can adjust this out to about uh, three three inches or so. I don't know why you would need that much, but hey, uh, some people like it. So whatever. But uh, very nice, aesthetically pleasing actually. Actually, with this. Uh, tube here. It kind of makes me think of the uh, uh, shotgun that Blade used in the uh, original Blade movie, the first one, the good one, uh, uh, where he shot uh, the uh, silver stakes out. So that was pretty cool. It was one of the reasons why I got this, that and the fact that it was a pretty cheap semi-automatic 12 gauge. And I don't own any semi-automatic 12 gauges. I got breakdowns and I got pumps. So price point for this, phenomenal. Now, don't know how this is going to run, so we will do a video on that and seeing how it runs. Probably going to have my little brother with me whenever I do it. Well, one of my little brothers. And, uh, yeah. Uh, mag insertion is a little bit different than AR style, just because of the way these magazines work. Now, they got a little catch right here, so it's kind of a rock and lock. You know, kind of like AKS. So, so it's just a kind of a rock and lock, and you're in there. The other cool thing about this gun is, even though this is an A2 style grip, this is rubberized. So it actually feels quite comfortable in the hand. And I was absolutely surprised because, you know, big hand McGee over here. Uh, it actually fits quite well. The A2 grip is just big enough for me to fit my middle finger around it and not hinder me whatsoever at all. The downward slope of the grip is a little bit more lenient than a regular A2 style grip. So I don't think I'm actually wanting to switch this grip out. It actually feels pretty nice. Uh, we'll find out though during shooting. But uh, also has a pretty decent recoil pad on the back of it. I mean, it's it's stiff, but you know, it ain't like an AR uh, back end where, you know, if you're shooting anything heavy, it kind of gonna dig into your arm. So not, not too bad, nice rubberized, feels pretty good. But yeah, guys, so I put the Fiatchi sights on this, and we're going to be trying that out with the Fiatchi sights, with this gun in general. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely surprised because of the price point of this shotgun, uh, being a semi-automatic and all. Semi-autos usually run more expensive, so it's kind of weird to see something like this. So I'm hoping it turns out pretty well. Uh, the other thing that they did on this is... now. This up here feels like polymer. 
right here in the magwell. It kind of feels like polymer. But when you get down to right, right about here, it feels like steel. And it's cold like steel. Polymer is not. So they did some kind of weird, endless, like, unseeable seam in this. So it's, uh, I mean, you can't see where the seam ends, can you? Like, steel's here. Polymer here. I mean, do you guys see it? The light on it. I don't see no crease. So they're working some kind of voodoo magic. Uh, but we give this a try here soon, hopefully. Um, one, because I wanted to test out the sights, and, and, and Jeff from uh, Gun and Wild One really wants me to test out the sights anyway. It's just because, you know, he posted the comment. <laughs> so we're, we're, Jeff, I'm, I'm going to try to get it done as fast as I can. I, I promise, man. I promise. I swear. I, I, me not doing range videos is not because I don't want to do range videos. I do. I just usually don't have the time anymore. Uh, so I apologize for that. But I wanted to bring this guy, bring this guy to you guys' attention. Guys and gals' attention. So we're rocking the, the CV Life on there. They're about the same size as the Fiatchi. I think they're actually the exact same size as the Fiatchi Red Dots that are like this. Or reflex sights that are like this. And uh, honestly, the fact that this has the perfect height it is kind of nice. You know, it's kind of kind of kind of actually weirdly accurate or weirdly uh it feels like it was made to run with these Fiatchi iron sights. Is what it feels like to me. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but it, it feels like that just because of how the height uh, kind of works well with this. Uh, and this isn't this isn't like an added little riser that I put on it or anything. This is just just the standard dot for CV Life, and it's the same. Like I said, it's, I'm pretty sure it's the same size as the Fiatchi one. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, the gun, aesthetically wise, like I said, is just absolutely beautiful. I think uh, I'm starting to think that the uh, uh, muzzle device here on the end uh, is either too thick because it screws on this way, but you can't flip it around and screw it on. So I'm thinking this might just be a thread protector, just made to look cool. But I don't know. If anybody has any opinions on that, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, what you think it is or what you think I should do about it but for the price this looks to be a pretty swell gun I will say one other thing about this uh, the SDS no matter what anybody tells you the SDS mags do not fit on this you cannot drop a bolt drop the bolt carrier uh, with the SDS magazines I tried does not work Okay, it, it just, it does not work. Uh, if you do get an SDS magazine, be aware, you're probably going to have to dremel the back of the magazine to match the original magazine because, uh, and I'll show you guys, I don't think that's against guidelines, but the back of the magazine has a little bit of a circle so that the bolt goes over top of it. The other magazines... For SDS is straight across. This one's kind of so you will have to dremel a little bit off. I, I would suggest do just a little bit, see if the bolt drops, if it doesn't drop, do a little bit more, yada yada yada, so forth and so on. Uh, that's just my opinion, and I'm a big monkey on the internet, so take that with a grain of salt, whatever you want to do. Uh, I have heard that the uh Rhea mags work for this. The Rhea VR 80s, I think, is what they are for the AR-12. I heard they work. And I heard that uh, the Magpul ones that are made for this works. But that's just what I've heard. I don't know from experience. I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time. I don't know, but I've heard. So, disclaimer there again. Uh... But hopefully we'll be getting this out to shoot here soon. Uh, 
breakdown of it I'm not really going to do right now just because it's kind of intense. And I'm not sure how YouTube's guidelines are going to do me on that. So we'll see. I'll, I'll get with them and see what they think or what uh, new draconian law they're going to come up with. So, uh, or a draconian rule. But uh, wanted to show this uh, to you guys. It's the Emperor 12 or Emperor Firearms or Emperor Arms, one of those two. Uh, yeah, Emperor Arms, Cobra 12. And like I said, price point for this, pretty ridiculous. Pretty ridiculously low for a semi-automatic shotgun. Uh, five round magazine comes with it. One in the chamber, five in the mag. Pretty, pretty decent. Um, even the standard Benelli's don't get that much, I don't think. I think they're four, four and one, four plus one. But I digress. Uh, but yeah, guys, I had the opportunity to bring this to you. Wanted to show it off to you, let you know. Uh, there was a manual that came with it, and like I said, the carry handle on the front side took it right the heck off. I just, no. Nah. Uh, but probably going to be putting uh, a light on here. Uh, you know, I think I'm just going to deck it out in Fiaci products, in all honesty. Uh, but this shotgun kind of feels like a shotgun high point would come out with, in all honesty. Now, I knock high point a lot. I will not knock the GXP or JXP just because I've heard good stuff about it. Handle looks a lot better and it cycles fine. So I'm not going to knock that. But this looks like a high point style, uh, a shotgun a high point would come out with if they ever made a shotgun. Like I said, just me. Uh, I don't know if, whether it's the, it's the four guard that makes me get that vibe just because of the carbines that they make. Uh, Again, I'm not going to knock carbines either. Uh, I will knock the C9 until I die. Uh, but, yeah. So, just wanted to bring this to you guys, let you know about it. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'll, I'll take it to the range as soon as I can. Jeff, please, please, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll get to it, I swear. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that and uh, stay safe. Stay armed. Stay two ways strong. Have a fantastic day. Keep getting at it. Got nothing else for you.